Now, let's come back to our Kanban board. It's been a while since I did like, a Kanban review board um, because I wanted to like populate through data and that usually will take time because hopefully after we go over this swim lane, my goal is hopefully the next video is to go over Kanban metrics. Um, so basically today we're going to be talking about swim lane, like uh, what is swim lane and how do can you tell if your board, your Kanban board or your Scrum board actually have swim lane. It is true. We don't only use swim lane for Kanban. I've also had the Scrum team in the past that have used swim lane. Welcome back to Aisha Scrum Platform. I'm very happy to have you all join my platform. For my existing subscribers and my new subscribers, I welcome you all to my channel. So let's get into the video. So uh, how can I even tell if my board have swim lane uh, or if my board uh, do not, right? So looking at my current Kanban board, uh, this has been our Aisha Tech Kanban board we've been using so far for demo. And this is my Kanban board right here. This is the backlog view right here, just like a quick recap. Um, this is the backlog view that shows everything else in the backlog. For me to see the active board, I have to click on Kanban board. So when I click on Kanban board, it shows me the whole board, right? So right now, looking at my board, um, I can tell that I have no swim lane. Um, I can tell because my board, the, the visual of the board itself is not like grouped by columns, right? Because yes. swim lane basically helps you group uh, stories or uh, tags based on column, right? Uh, and basically it horizontally splits and you can see the difference in your board as we continue to teach this tutorial. So for me to go in my settings to see if I actually have it, so that's another one way to go. But for me, I can look at it, I can tell that my board do not have any swim lane. So to look at it, to see how, if you want to add swim lane, um, where to go for that, you always go to the board settings. So I click my three dots and I go to, I have to move this here. Uh, and I go to board settings. And when I go to board settings, it's going to populate. But I just want to let you all know that uh, you have to be a board admin to basically uh, be able to play around this board settings. It's very important I say that. And for me now to go to the swim lane to see my current status of the swim lane, I just click on swim lane right here. And you can see the same settings if, if you know you have a Scrum board. Although we are doing this tutorial in Kanban board, you can also see this in Scrum board. So I click on swim lane and right now it's saying none, right? Going back to what I was saying initially, we currently have no swim lane in our board. Basically, no stories are grouped in the same column. So let's see how Jira defined what is swim lane or what swim lane is all about. So Jira basically des describe it as is a row on the board. And that is so true. It's just like one line, which I'm going to show you all the difference. Uh, basically group issue together in, in a board. Basically, either you can be in your active Scrum board. Uh, and even this was a Scrum board, that's where you will go to see the difference. It's going to be in the active Scrum board. And here in the Kanban board, um, we saw that initially it's none. And if you look at the setting, currently it's set as none. Swim lane type can be changed below, which I plan to change here and show you all, and will be saved automatically. And queries, because sometimes you can save your swim lane queries. So let's look at the different options of swim lanes we have. So when I click on this drop down arrow, it's telling me these are all the different ways how I can give role to my active scrum board or my active Kanban board. Uh, I can either group it by queries, uh, whereby there's maybe there's something unique about a project you're working on and you want to maybe you've created different label to identify those issues and then you want to create a queries to basically group them then for sure you can create those queries and save it and your board and those tickets will be grouped that way another way to 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 have that swim lane the view it's by stories uh, sometimes I know some development team, uh, the developers, they will have tags or sub tags under their story. Most of the time they will have sub tags and they are working at sub tags level. So they will want their board to have a story group by stories. So they will just click on the drop down arrow and all the sub tags will show up in their board without having to click and open it. I know I've seen this in the past. 
Another way too we can group uh, those columns on our active board is by assignee, uh, whereby we'll put the people's name and we'll go by each of those developers that are assigned to those tags. And then we have Epic. And Epic too, I'm sure you all know what Epic has, uh, and because most of the time our stories sh should be related to an Epic. And then we we'll group it by the Epic view, then we see that we're not gonna show you how this will look or by projects, maybe if you have multiple projects in one board, right? Because if you notice my board here, uh, Aisha Tech is under a, sh uh, a shared board. I can have multiple board under this project. So if I want to combine boards and have that view in this page, I can also do that here. So first, let's start with queries, right? For example, uh, right away, uh, by default, Jira have already created highest, um, highest priority, uh, uh, swim uh, category for the board view itself. So basically I can, let's say I want to create one for labels, right? And I'll just put labels. This uh, By the way, this is query JQL. Um, nothing different by the others. Did I have any label created for this? Oh yeah, I have one, I guess. Is it PI12 already maybe? I don't know if my current board, because I have multiple boards. I don't know if this is the board I have PI to open it and I hit add. So I've created um queries for label. I've also created queries for expedite. So I know sometimes for most of the Kanban team I've worked with, we've always have expedite and have everything else because those are the ones we really, really want it uh, out of the way, right? Get it worked done completely and move, move it to done. So we'll group things by based on priority and then it's review on the board. So now let's go back to the board and see how it will look. Um, if you recall, in the beginning of the video, we didn't have any line, you see? Now, all of a sudden, it breaks it, right? So now, this is swim lane, right? So from here to here, it's one swim lane. From expedite to here. Expedite ends right here. And on the expert extra light, we have one, one issue only. And it's even counting the number of issues we have past swim lane. Uh, we have everything else in one swim lane right here. And how you can tell, you can look back. And right now, if you look at it, it's open, right? The particular um expedite stories are open. So how can I how did I know it's open? Because the arrow is down. And I can close this, right? And now I've closed it. Even I close it, you still it still tells you how many issues you have in there. Remember, this is not story point. It's just telling you the issue count, how many issue counts you have. And the issue counts for in here is one. And right now I've closed it. And for me to open it, I just click the arrow and open it. So now it's opened. And I have only one. I have only currently I have only one uh issue that was highest priority, right? And that issue have been done and closed, which is exactly what we want. And you'll be like, why do you have to do swim lane, right? People, because you can still see it in the board, right? But what I like about swim lane is that you it basically give put extra attention to those things that are very important to you, especially for a Kanban team, right? That basically do not have a uh start and end dates, right? Like for like them starting a sprint on this day, ending on this day, you know, Kamba have basically have no end or start. It's one way to keep you all um, at your toes and also having a nice view on where everything stands and things that are most important, having a group on its own. So hopefully we can miss it, right? So if you have a lot of things, everything else in the board, right? So that's one good way uh, you will see this. And sometimes you will see this too, use a lot too from Scrum teams that are basically working on multiple projects that have different epics and they wanna group things. And it's actually easier for them to visibly see it by those epic, you know, actually very, very important. So then everything else is in here and I can tell in these issues, we have seven. If you count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have seven issues under the swing lane. Basically, if someone asks you what is swim lane and you're new to RJ, I know sometimes people are like, Aisha, what's swim lane? What's this? What's that? It's basically, it's just grouping related tags into one row. Simple as that. And it helps with better visibility, uh, basically uh, also quick uh, alignment and quick seeing something and like, oh, wow, this is where this is currently at. 
the quick way to, to view something and grouping it with anything else. So that's for the queries part. So let's look at the view of if we if we move this back to um if we do this to is it epic? Is the next one or stories? I think we can do epic. Let's see how it will look if we have it grouped by epic, right? So let's go back to the settings. It's loading and it's running so a little so slow. So let's go back to the settings and right now it's at queries and if I want to move it back to uh, epic, right? Let's say I want to put it to epic and automatically it's saved. That's all you switch it. You put it to epic, you click on the drop down arrow, you choose the epic, you check box on it and automatically it saves it. So when I go back to my view, I go back to my board, my, my board will be grouped by epic, right? So now, ta -da, see, our board now is grouped by epic, right? So now it's grouped by learn about difference in pro program, that's my epic. Pay with different payments method, that's my epic, right? Uh, and then issues without epic. So then the good thing that this do for us too at the end is that sometimes you don't know everything, sometimes in your project might be linked to an epic, right? But for the most part, we like, like for example, like a tax, like a quick tax or a quick fix here and there, or, or a tracker ticket or a knowledge transfer ticket, all those ones can sometimes be on tax. So those all can go underneath here, like everything, issues without epic. But the issues with epic, it will group it for you and you can able to view it. Uh, how many issues do we have in this epic? Currently, we have two issues, right? And it's also giving the count. Uh, how many issues do we have in this epic? We have one. And I can close each one so I can see all the epic that's currently active in our current sprint. If you're working in sprints, or you can look at all the current active epic in your current Kanban board if you're working in the Kanban, uh, in the Kanban way of doing things. So these are the two only epic I have. And these are the ones how it grouped my board. So this is one swim lane, right? This epic here is one swim lane. And this epic is another swim lane. And the last swim lane is everything else, right? In this case, is everything else without epic. So another time, so I've seen a team that actually grouped their board based on assignee. Um, so then I go back to the board setting. Let's do the last one, right? Let's see how it will look uh, based, on, based on assignee. So I click on the arrow, then I go back and go by based on assignee. And then it asks you a question um, as on assigned issues. Should, do we want those issues at the top of the board of the swim lane or below the swim lane? Uh, so now Jira is asking us on assigned issue, right? Because you know Jira is one thing. We'll show you what you want and the remainder have not watched the filter you did. We group them as everything else or issue without epic or something different. And in this case, if I click on this drop down arrow, it I will choose. Do I want all these people, stories without an assignee? Because sometimes this is very common to a Kanban team, uh, whereby we have something that's very is next to be worked on, but the team are we're working on something currently, and they won't work on it yet until they complete with their tasks and now go back and pull on, pull the next tickets to work on. So in this case. If I'm grouping it by assignee, do I want that stories at the top or at the bottom? Actually, we'll leave it at the below because I don't want it at the top. Because at the top, I really want to know what's actually in progress and what's actually being worked on. And I expect something that's actively being worked on should have an assignee. So that's why I would 100% put the uh, assignee at the bottom. So I leave it at below. And then let's go back to the board and see the change, how it will reflect. Uh, the swim lane will show up on the board. So then when I go down, um, it shows me, because I'm the only one in this board, right? It's saying that uh, Aisha, she has like three issues and Aisha basically is one of the assignees to some of the stories in the board. And we have five other issues in this board that basically have no no one, no one's working on it. And so it grouped the board that way too. So, so this is one swim lane, right? Aisha is one swim lane. If you have multiple team members, each one of them will have their own swim lane. So each one of them the group will group their tasks uh, based on their name and the people that's working on it, right? So you can have one for me, you can have one for another team member. So that's all is their own role. Each one will have their own role. Each team member will have their own role. So each role is called a swim lane. Uh, so, so that's that. So if I want to take all this thing off, I don't want to see this view and uh, you don't want it, um, 
don't hesitate to go back to and put it to none. And sometimes too, for new Scrum Masters, um, they will uh, uh, they will see their board, and if this arrow is closed, they'll be like, oh my god, I have an active Scrum board, or I have a Kanban board, and they have no issue. You know, no, no, they have they do have an issue. We just have to open the arrow. Don't forget to always click this arrow and close it. I once had a Scrum Master was telling me this. Uh, just click this arrow up, up and down. Down means open, this close. Down means open, this close. Open, close. Uh, so in case if you have a stream limb on the board, and hopefully if you watch this video, now you surely understand and know what the stream limb is. But if you don't know, you can always go to the board settings. You know, The board settings is a, is a place to know how everything is set up in the board. And you can tell if the stream lane is there or stream lane is not there. Uh, I'm going to go back and take off the swim lane by just going back and hit none. And when I do hit none, it's going to go back to the original state it was when I started filming the video, which is me having a board without swim lane. I hope this content will be so valuable to you all. If so, like and subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in mentorship, do not hesitate to email me at admin at aishascrumtech.com. Thank you all for watching this video and see you all again in my next video.